I'm the last man standing. I think the chances are pretty high I'm gonna get it. Starting to feel a little weird, so we come up with this plan. Well, I'm the last man standing. Not feeling very hopeful. I was, and Jonah was doing fine, and then he got sick last night. Now he is feeling okay this morning, so maybe he kicked it, but he got a 100, 100 degree temperature. But Josiah did that too, he kinda got sick, and then he was feeling better, and then he got sick again. So hopefully that isn't it, hopefully Jonah's better, but I'm fighting this like crazy. Alley Med liquid form, four drops. A couple Alley Med pills. Magnesium pills. A tablespoon of Sovereign Silver. Another thing, I wash my hands a lot. Now I'm getting some fresh air. Maybe that'll help as I go do the chores. But we have a plan. You know, I am starting to feel a little weird, but maybe that's because you're thinking about it too much. But what are the chances that I'm gonna make it through with this? There's six of us, five of us got it. I'm the last man standing. I think the chances are pretty high I'm gonna get it. Starting to feel a little weird. So we come up with this plan. We gotta get the most important things done while I'm still well. Uh, we have a plan to open up the cow lane if I start for sure start getting it because everybody has started slow and then they have had some time until they're like bedridden. So if that hits me where I'm like for sure sick, we've got a plan. Hopefully it won't happen, but if it does, we got to get to the store. We're like so out of things. I just got to remember that quote, too blessed to stress. Say it with me, too blessed to stress. I've been saying that over and over again. This, obviously this is not the worst thing that can happen. It's a setback. It's a slump in the story for sure. But there is always something to be thankful for. It could be a lot worse. Uh, it could be something different. Look, we're getting it out of the way early in the season. The animals are still well. So, hi, hi, you say hi? You say hi to people? Good, hey, this is what sick, this is what five sick people look like. Well, it looks like he's feeling a little better. He's kind of been up and down. And mama, she's looking like she's feeling pretty good. Well, this is gonna be interesting. I'm heading to the grocery store by myself. That hasn't happened in, I don't know, ever-ish. So, everybody's sick. I usually have some chillers with me or something. And the beautiful one usually does most of the shopping. Like, I'm doing the shopping. I like doing the grocery shopping. So we'll see how this goes. Mistake number one. Walked off the house with my farm boots on. That'd be kind of cool if we were to that point to where this was our grocery store 100% where I just put my farm boots on and go out and get the groceries. But this time we're needing so much and we're so physically down that I'm just gonna have to go to the grocery store. Well, here I am. We'll see how this goes. Let's see. I, I think the kids have taught me a lesson. They would totally get Mama some flowers. I think she'd like these. They got the most color. Apples, tomatoes, bananas, strawberries, broccoli, carrots. Don't need kale, got plenty of kale. Cucumbers, peppers, oranges. Giorgio, gluten-free pasta, spaghetti sauce, peanut butter, white rice. Ginger root, hummus, kombucha, the organic salad bar, 
so good for a quick and easy meal. Thank you, Whole Foods. It's so good to have a one-stop shop. Say that three times, stop fast. One-stop shop, one-stop shop. For organics, gluten-free, Whole Foods. Hey, what? Oh, what? you got me flowers. There you go. We'll put it next to theirs. How sweet. That makes me feel better. Oh, good. You're looking better. You, you feel good. I see you got snot all over your face. Can you say hi? <laughs> Let's check in on the broody. Some folks wanted to know how she was doing. She's doing good. Look, her tail's sticking out there. She's hanging in there. That's good. I replenished her feed this morning. That means she's getting up and eating. Look, a colossal turd. Yeah, they, they, they drop these huge chicken squats uh, when they're broody. They don't come that often. They don't eat that much. But, buddy, when they let one drop, it drops. And it stinks. So when I was driving home from Aaron's, I looked up there, and there's mutiny. The cows have pushed over their water trough. Somebody's out there. Somebody was out down below. I don't even see where they are now. We're gonna have to go find them. You know, they've actually been doing pretty good. They're in the same strip because we're sick. I'm not moving them. They're used to being moved every day. Here they are. Actually, there's two of them out. Of course, it would be Miss O'Hara. Hey, Scarlett, you gotta get back in your, you gotta get back up there. We gotta keep order on the place, honey. This isn't ready to be grazed again. We gotta let it rest. Wrong way. Let's go that way. Come on. Oh, she duked me, she duked me. Come on, why don't you go back that way? Towards the wheelbarrow back there. No, you ain't gonna go that way, are you? All right. She's not about to go back down here to the lane. She's probably wanting to go back where she got out. So I'm just gonna work with her on that. So first I'm gonna take this hay bale over there so the two that are still in will stay in when I put down that fence to get these two rascals back in. Oh, I'm up here at the mutiny site. What happened, Willow? Can you tell me? Oh look, they pushed the water barrel over. It must have gotten low and it knocked over, it knocked, it got set on top of the fence. So that's how they get through it. That's how they got through. And here they come. Look, just worked with them, didn't force them to do anything. Just said, hey, you guys want to be over here with the herd? You want to be over here with food? I'll work with that. I'll work with that. Okay, guys, I lowered it. Get through there. Get through there, Scarlet. Get on up. He sees the wire there. He goes to the one area. It's up a foot. Okay, Scarlet, I'm going to get you some water real soon. Check it out, guys. Wild strawberries. To admit, I came home pretty stressed out. I was not being too blessed to be stressed. Kind of forgot about that thing. Come home from the grocery store, got to put away the groceries, got to take care of the chiddlers and mama, got to go, go out and get the cows out of the fence, got to get some work done. I haven't been working a couple of days. But coming out here and just looking how simple these cows are and how simple they live and seeing the wild strawberries and breathing the fresh air and getting the hot sunshine and seeing the spring coming in on the mountains and this beautiful view. It's just something about it make you feel a little bit better. It helps you bring things into perspective. Everybody should spend 20 minutes out in nature every day. And it might have, might have be forest, but in this case it's nature. And if you're busy, you should spend an hour. I get that. So the farm's not just for exercise or for growing food. It's for relaxation, meditation, therapy. This is farm therapy. Ooh, I know, I should lay down, I should lay down like I'm at the therapist's office. You know, those classic chairs that people are laying in and the, per and the therapist is just asking questions. Listen. Do you hear my therapist? It's a hoo 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 hoo. Hear that? I feel so much better now. <laughs>
Now what is the farm? It's Earth Gym. Earth Gym. The grocery store. And the therapist's office. All right, I think I got enough weight in there now. I can safely leave. Don't, 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 don't bite the hand that feeds you guys. Don't spill your water trough. So if I ever start feeling like a grump again, you just need to, go, you just need to tell me to go out to the therapeutic farm. Oh. Yeah, and sunbathe a little bit, take yeah. in the, take, take in the wild air. birds, the fresh air. Okay, so scale of one to ten, how do you feel, Mr. Brown? One being, oh my gosh, I have this flu, I feel like I'm gonna <coughs> die. And a 10 being, I want to go to the moon. I would say he's an 8. And what are you? I'm probably like a 5. Okay, halfway there, folks. Scale of 1 to 10, how, how well do you feel? Dead. <laughs> you look like at about a 3. I'm sorry, buddy. You're not feeling well? Okay, 10, you want to go climb the highest tree? 1, you feel like dying. Where are you on scale of 1 to 10? 1. I feel like 10. I feel like number 5. Oh, I feel really like you climb a tree. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's because you have such a great attitude and zeal for life. I could climb a tree. You'll be climbing trees soon enough, buddy, okay? Hey, Rebecca, it's a sign. Does anybody know that sign? Chipotle, Mexican Grill. I'm tired of slapping things together. Can we get Chipotle? We can. If we can find somebody to bring it out here. I know. And if not, I will go get it. I think I'd rather go get it. <laughs> Then to slap something together again. <laughs>